What's going on everybody? Gunner here. Um, I, I just stopped myself real quick because I'm tying up some Fuzz Juniors and I want to show you guys how to put realistic eyes on these flies. Um, if you've ever seen the tutorial, the original uses hairlines, real fake jungle cock eyes. Uh, really awesome product, um, but they're not super realistic. Um, and so it took me quite a while, but I kind of figured out uh, the right eye, the right glue, and, and how to apply it. And I just want to show you that real quick. Um, so yeah, what you're going to find is uh, I struggled. First, you know, I tried uh, gel super glue. Uh, didn't work so hot. The eyes would come off. I played with uh, some Shugu. I played with some Goop, some E6000. Um, and basically nothing would work with a dome eye. And what I mean by dome eyes, they're three-dimensional. These are, you know, a Flyman eyes are dome eyes. Deer Creek eyes are dome eyes. Basically almost basically every eye in the market is a dome eye. They're, they have a resin coating uh, and that makes them structured. And kind of what I found is that structure, uh, when a fish would, you know, if a fish tooth would hit that, basically the, the rigidity, uh, a tooth hits it and starts to lift it up, the whole eye shifts, right? Because it's got that firm dome on there. Um, and so the eyes would pop off. You know, I'd sit here and flick it and maybe, I don't know, five flicks and this would be off. And I've already flicked this I don't know, 20 times and the eye, is, the eye is still on there, right? And so what I moved to from a dome eye is a sticker eye, a two-dimensional sticker eye. And these are my, my favorite eyes for this. They are adhesive eyes, 3 16 of an inch is the size that I use on Fuzz Juniors and Hot Fuzzes. Um, and then I'll bump up to the quarter inch size uh, for doing a uh, fuzz senior, which we'll talk about real quick, and uh, basically any kind of pike or musky. This is about the biggest you can get in the sticker eye uh, that I've found so far. So those are the eyes, and there'll be a link to that in the description. And so these two dimensional eyes, uh, and you'll see I'll take one out of the package. Uh, when we go to put an eye on, I'll take it out of the package. But they're super flimsy, <laughs> like they have no structure. They're two dimensional, they're just a, a little sticker, like there's nothing to them. So when an eye, you know, a tooth hits that, the, the fly gets smashed, basically the edge of the sticker kind of just absorbs the shock. There's no leverage. You can't get any leverage off of uh, a super flimsy two dimensional eye. So it doesn't peel. Uh, you basically would have to grab the edge with pliers to rip it off, right? Um, so even with these 2D eyes, I, the gel super glue it, it doesn't uh, work that well, um, and and this this was something to consider, right? Uh, I've had a few people bring this up in, in the Mega Jerk video. Why didn't you know the tear mender head um, for attaching eyes? For strong fuzzy fiber, I do not use tear mender. And tear mender is super runny. It's, 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 it's like a really just, it's a low viscosity liquid. Um, and when you put that on dubbing or will or something, it soaks into it, right? And it fills it in. Um, and that's what you want. But strong fuzzy fiber is really coarse. Um, so it'll basically just kind of like seep through and drip out basically um, and and so I didn't want that and and part of the durability behind a tear mender head is that I'm gonna pinch those eyes and saturate that entire area and it'll cure rock solid because this is um, uh, latex it's liquid latex right um, so what you have to move to is you have to move to a really thick goopy style glue um, and the best I've found so far is Shugu. I think it's similar. I haven't tried them all to like E6000 or also a product called Goop. But that's what I'm using as an adhesive. So, and I haven't got one of these to come off. I could flick this for 40 minutes. I could put a thousand flicks right on the edge of that eye, like super aggressive right on the eye where you'd have the most leverage to flick it off and it will not come off. Like they just, they don't come off. Um, and this fly is not even for me. I'm doing this for on a customer's fly. <laughs> um, so that that's the trick. You need a two-dimensional eye. These are sticker eyes. I'll put a link. Uh, you know, this will be in the description, so you don't have to remember it. And you need Shugu or Goop or E6000 or a similar uh, adhesive, right? So I'm going to show you guys how to apply this real quick. We'll get zoomed in uh, on a, a bear fly here, and I'll talk you through. You know, these heads, these, I'll zoom in first. You know, the whole point of this strong fuzzy fiber head is it's a, it's a bulkhead. It's a synthetic bulkhead. 
Um, and so I, you know, you put eyes on here. I don't want to pinch that head at all. I want it to re maintain its its three dimensional shape, right? I want it to be very uh, kind of big and bulky and and look super good. Um, so that's that's the whole goal with this. And so the shoe goo, because it's super thick, um, you know, I can I can put some pressure on it and it'll seep into the strung fuzz a little bit. It'll adhere to the entire back of these eyes and. I basically get this nice bulky head that stays nice and bulky. So these eyes, and I'll, I'll try to show you one, but super, like, that's going to be impossible to show you, but super flimsy, right? Like, they have no rigidity whatsoever. Helps them absorb shock. Um, you can find Shugu in, like, a massive bottle and a mini bottle. The mini bottle is just easier to work with, and it won't set up on you, and... We won't waste as much of it, but I'll come in with just a tiny dab here. You can see it's going to be, it's, and I'm not going to lie to you guys, it's a little tricky to work with. But I want a, a dab about the size of my eye. I'm going to pin that a little back from my hook eye. And I'll flip this over so you guys can see this big ball of shoe goo, and I'm going to push it into this strong fuzz. I'm going to work it into the strong fuzzy fiber. Uh, Ooh, that's coming out a little too quick. Get another dab in there. So I'm just, I'm sacrificing a bodkin. You should always have, I'd recommend, I have like three of them, but you should have like two bodkins and use one for, you know, goo and epoxy and UV resin and stuff and have one that's clean for actual fly tying applications. That's what I'd recommend, but I work that into the fiber, right? Clean off your bodkin right away. Uh, get your cap back on that. Clean it up if you need to. You can just run your bodkin off of it and clean it up. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll uh, try to get this so you guys can see it. You just want to lay that sticker right into that shoe goo, and you can move it around before you push it down. Get it to the space you want. Make sure it's in line with your eye, right? Because you want these eyes to be symmetrical or else they'll cause your fly to spin. Then I use the back of my bodkin and just give that a nice little tap down into that head. And boom, that eye is set in place. Come to the other side. And I'll mess with this for maybe uh, a minute or two. I'll kind of just push on these, push these into the head. Look at them, make sure they're symmetrical, they're set equidistant, you know, back from my eye, and they're both in line with my hook eye. That way I get a, a fly that's going to ride true. And I'll kind of use my fingers, and what I'll do is I'll physically push kind of on the edge, on the edge of these eyes, so that that goop goes right up to the edge. You want it to go right up to the edge. Then I'll turn this, and I'll show you guys. And that's your finished product. It's that simple. You know, there's no... Look how bulky that head is, and I got eyes on there. There's no extra step. There's no UV top coat. There's no nothing, and I haven't had them come off. Um, and so it's just awesome. So that's that's how you do eyes on strong fuzzy fiber. And if you, uh, so I'm gonna digress here and talk about other stuff. So if you want to leave me, that's cool. But that's that's how you get eyes on strong fuzzy fiber. And I, I bring this up because I had uh, somebody ask me uh, just recently because I posted the Mega Jerk video, and he was like, you know. Why didn't you use Terramender, or, or does Terramender work with uh, strong fuzzy fiber? And so, you know, the Terramender is super runny, and it'll kind of run out of, out of the strong fuzzy fiber. Um, and so, if you're doing like a big musky bug, uh, watch the, the Mega Jerk tutorial right at the end. Use 5-minute epoxy. Uh, use the, the Zappa Gap 5-minute uh, version. And, and it is super durable super grippy uh, fills up that head and and just anytime you have a coarse material i like to use a jellier goopier higher viscosity glue um, and and when your materials are nice and thin and they can absorb stuff right uh, basically then that's when i'll come in with the tear mender because it'll absorb in there and i'm probably going to pinch that head um, so that's what i want to leave you with um, and lastly basically uh the Fuzz, the, the Fuzz Senior. I've been working on the Fuzz Senior for like a year and I haven't shown anybody um, because 
I couldn't get eyes on it and I wanted I wanted realistic eyes and then I moved to a, a five minute epoxy head uh, that's the same as the the mega jerk but I really wanted um, you know that's another jerk fly and I have I have imposters and I have mega jerks and so that that niche is kind of filled um, and so just recently with with this goop and the I found I got the quarter inch eyes and I've been making dubbing brushes with strong fuzzy fiber so they're super durable on like a pike and a musky bug to be able to palmer it and create that synthetic bulkhead um, so you're gonna see this head come back into play for the fuzz senior so if you haven't checked these out fuzz juniors are my all-time favorite, I think, smallmouth fly uh, that I've I've designed, um, and and they treated me super well this past year. And the hot fuzz, the articulated version, caught my biggest fish of the year, um, and and also hooked my biggest pike, which broke me off. But so those will be linked in the description. You can check them out. Um, and this is the updated head and how to get eyes on strung fuzzy fiber. Hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching.